Welcome to another edition of Nightline. I'm Jerry Middleton, and with me today, as usual, is Rick Fletcher. Rick, it's beautiful outside today. It's a gorgeous day. It finally feels like springtime. The sun is out. It's probably 75, close to 80 degrees. And before we get started, Jerry, congratulations. Your daughter got married over the weekend, Lexi. Oh, yes. That was uh, quite the, the fun time. <laughs> I appreciate that. It was a, it was a great... It, Saturday turned out to be a nice day. Yeah. And... Uh, and it was a great time. We really enjoyed it, and and uh, kudos to them. She'll be moving to Raleigh, North Carolina here in the next week to go uh, be at uh, North Carolina State, and and her husband to be working there too. So our kids all grow up, don't they? Oh yes, they do. They don't. They don't stay the same. So no. Lex, if you're watching this, congratulations to you, and she'll be graduating yep. from Purdue right? on Friday. So that's fabulous. So. Is she, I want to ask, will she be a continuing with volleyball refing where she's going at North I Cal? don't think so. No, okay. And, and you know, and I said something to Mr. Kiesling about this, is I think next year we need to do a segment of where are they now. Yeah, with the alumni. With the alumni. Yeah. You know, take a two or three minute segment and... And where are they now? Yeah, you never know. Oh. You know, maybe there's a tycoon out there that we don't know about. We can find out Ooh, there. Because we need that. We could use the dues we, around we here. Could do, <laughs> yeah. Well, Rick, you know, being a beautiful day out, you know what that leads us to? Softball. Softball. We were just came from the field, as a matter of This yeah. is Monday night, and uh, the girls just defeated Centerville. Uh, they mercyed them. Yeah. Uh, they did it the long way. They scored six runs in the bottom of the bottom of the sixth inning, yeah. and that uh, took care of business right there. So, eleven to one victory. They're on a roll right now. These I'm girls. Really impressed with how well that they're hitting the ball, and I mean line drives. Yeah. I and mean, everything is line drives. They're not worried about. Um, you know, uh, launch angles and all that stuff. I mean, they're hitting the ball hard and line drives, and that, that'll win your ball games. Well, you talk, uh, you know, about the, the hitting lineup. You know, one through four, you got Emma Neely, Lexi Russell, Claire Lopeman, and Lily Knoll. They're as good as anybody. Yep. I mean, they can all hit. And, you know, the, the other part of the order started to pick up, too. So Well, uh, Bailey Whistler tonight had a real nice shot down the right field line. And um, Cam McFarland, she hit one off the fence and left. Uh, she, she, she hit a shot. Boy, that yeah. was good to see for yeah. Cameron, too. And you talk about Bailey. She's just a scrapper. Yeah. You know, you love those ball players that just go out and scrap and they get a base hit. They'll get they'll scratch out a walk and they'll just do things that help you win ball games. And that's that's what I look at Bailey Whistler as, is one of those type of ball yeah. players. So, you know, congratulations to them. Uh, their season rolls on. They got a couple more ball games yep. coming up this week. Uh, sectionals aren't that far. No, nope. you know come, they drew Centerville in the first yep. round, and uh, we talked to a couple of the girls last week after one of the victories. Uh, Lily Knoll and Sage Sanders, and Lily had something to say about that Centerville game coming up in uh, coming up in sectionals. So we probably ought to go listen to that. Well, let's do it because I want to hear this. <laughs> We're here in Fountain City where the Lady Knights have just defeated uh, TEC foe Winchester 10-4. to And I'm here with Lily Null and Sage Sanders. So, Lily, this game started out, it was kind of a grind coming off that big win against Cowan. So what are your thoughts about this game here tonight? I thought we um, knew it was a conference game, so we came, got at it. Our hitting was a little slow in the beginning, but then we picked it up. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys sure did, especially in the last sixth inning. You put some distance. So, Sage, you're a junior, right? Uh, so you're kind of an elder statesman on this team. you got a lot of freshmen, sophomores. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, we just have to pick them up and help them out, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you guys went through a rough spot, you know, in your schedule there. But now it looks like you've won probably, what, five in a row, I think. And so the future, did you, have you guys seen your uh, sectional foes yet? Have you seen who you're yeah. playing in sectional? So what are your thoughts on your sectional? Um, I, I'm, I think we're... We're gonna we're gonna win against Centerville. Right. That, that's easy, but it's just Union County in the uh, championship. All right, so the, you heard it here, guys. All right, picking a picking the game already. We still got a lot of season to go. Uh, so what are the goals for the rest of the year, Sage? You just want to keep winning, right? Yes, good mentality too. All 
All right. Well, good luck to both of you guys. It's fun to win. All right. So that's what we like to see. All right. Final score. Uh, the Lady Knights defeated Winchester 10-4. to So back to you guys in the studio. Well, Rick, I guess there's a bit of confidence there. A lot of confidence, and they should. They should. They're playing yeah. well right now. Yeah. Um, you know, their infield is as good as anybody. You Absolutely. Got, you got L Lily down there at third base. She can just be a vacuum cleaner down there. You got Brooks Robinson at, at third. <laughs> third. You got Ozzy Smith at short. That's, that's Joe a, Morgan at third. Absolutely. And Tony, Tony Perez. Perez at first. <laughs> the big red machine. And, and Johnny then, Bench behind the plate and yeah. Pedro Borbone on the mound. Yeah, just a good, solid uh, defensive team alignment yeah. there. So, you know, wish them luck. We'll wish them luck the rest of the yeah. season. Sectionals are right around the corner. And let's see what happens. You know, obviously Union County is yep. probably the cream of the crop. Uh, and they've got a, they're the uh, reigning champion. So you got to knock them off at some point, but Centerville point. first. Yep. As you can see, Lily's she's yep. confident and well, as well she should be. So, well, baseball is up, up and down again. Up right and now. down. Uh, they lost a doubleheader at Hagerstown. Um, you know, but they're hitting the ball much better. Yeah, and so um, so that's a positive. Uh, a lot more hits happening. Uh, Traden York uh, had a home run at Hagerstown uh, on Saturday. He's starting to pick it up at the plate. He's starting to hit the ball more solid. Right. And uh, not get down on his front foot and so forth. He's keeping his weight back and driving through the ball. So that's a big positive right there. Now Carson Terrell got hurt Okay. up there. Uh, he... Um, Dislocated his kneecap, I believe Ouch. is what it was, uh, batting. Ouch. Yeah, which is very rare. Yeah. Um, with that, but but he should be back. You know, um, hopefully, you know, by the sectional. Well, let's hope, and, and I'm sure Wes Oler's got yes. his holding his breath too. Yeah, for I'm fall sure. Season. I'm sure Wes is like, oh no. So you know, we'll see. Well, last yeah. week they beat uh, they beat Tri fourteen to nothing, and yeah. it was just a good all around effort uh, by the Knights. So we have we talked to Carson. You talk about yeah. Carson. We talked to uh, him and Mike Sell, uh, and so let's go see what these guys had yep, to say. Yep, let's catch that. We're here at Northeastern High School, and the Knights baseball team has just defeated Tri High in a mercy game, fourteen nothing. I'm here with Carson Terrell and Keaton Mikesell. Carson, so tell us about this game right here. Uh, we were hitting the ball. We haven't been able to do that that much. Recent games, practice yesterday, we worked on uh, hitting the ball in certain areas and I think that really helped us. So Keaton, I gotta say, uh, hitting has been a struggle at times this year, but not today. So what what, what, what went into that? Uh, you know, I think hitting is contagious. You know, once we get one person going, I think the team starts rolling, our confidence starts going. And then we just kind of go from there. That's exactly that's exactly what it is, right, Carson? I mean, yeah. you guys can get on a roll going into sectionals. So you know, tell us about as you head forward uh, going into sectional. Do you like your draw, or what do you think? Yeah, I think we probably got the best draw. I, I really like it. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, good. And how about you, Keaton? What do you think about going forward? Yeah, I think we're just growing as the season goes on, and I think by the time sectional comes, we'll finally be you know where we want to be. And just roll from there. And you heard it right there, and that's exactly what it is. You want to be on a roll going into the sectionals, right, guys? So, you know, that's coming up. It's not that far down the road, just about three weeks away. All right, so final score, uh, Knights 14 and try zero. And back to you guys in the studio. Rick, I don't know how you get all these interviews. I mean, you're you're getting the top-notch brass now. Well, you got to do a lot of running. Let me tell you, you run around, and that's that's what you got to do. And we're still looking for help, by the way. Anybody interested? Yeah. So, we could use the help. But you know, that's what we try to do. We want to bring the players on here so people can take a look and see what they have to say. And you know, they're kind of pleased with yeah. their draw, with their sectional yeah. draw. Uh, you know, they're going to play the winner of Hagerstown in Union County, and they beat Union County earlier in the yeah. year. They struggled with Hagerstown, but, you know, they're not unbeatable. Yeah, I'll tell you, in, in Union County, could slip right by Hagerstown. Yeah, you never know yeah. when it comes. It's just 
pitching, right? Yeah. It's all on the pitching, whoever's pitching, you know, whoever's on yeah. that day pitching. So uh, the Knights did uh, get a draw. They go right into the semifinals. So one game and then they're in the championship. So, you know, good luck to them. Yep. You know, they still got the rest of their season left and they're looking for consistency. You know, we talked about softball. I think the girls of softball have found that consistency. I agree with you. And so I think the guys in the baseball team, they're looking for consistency. You know, they're up one game and down the next, and they just got to find that level that they can just play well, you know, night in and night yeah. out. If they can do that, they can be a danger in the sectional. Well, what about, go what about golf? Huh? Golf. Well, golf, golf is doing what golf does. They're winning. Winning. And they won the Wayne County Tourney last Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, so. congratulations to them. Yep. Alex Beatty and Hayden Chalpin. Yep. He, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his yep, name correctly. Uh, they were the medalists. They both shot 85, so that's a, an 18-hole tournament. Yep. A lot of times when they have uh, matches during the week, they'll play a nine-hole uh, play nine holes, but on a on a Saturday tournament they'll play eighteen. And that was in the rain, yeah, in the wind, in the cold. Now, it's like we've had all spring. Oh my they, gosh. They've played in weather that just has been terrible, and uh, so this was nothing different. They lot, were used to the weather. A lot of water hazards. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Last Saturday, a lot of water hazards. Yeah, not only do you have the water, the natural water, but yeah. boy, a lot of water was popped up all over because yeah. we've had a lot of rain, yeah. and you know, there's just so much rain a, a golf course can take, yeah. and there was just probably water all over the place. Uh, well, the course is saturated. The ball won't roll. Yeah, you know. Uh, it's just a whole different approach. Like when Coach Brady was here, of how you have to attack the course. Yeah, so. yeah. So, again, their sectionals are coming up. Yes. And it's, we're getting down to the end of it here, Jerry. School's almost out. Yeah. There's not that much school left. And Thirteen days, but who's counting? <laughs> Most teachers are. I can guarantee you that. So, and probably all the students yeah. are too. And, uh, but anyways, uh, you know, they're 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 prime. I mean, they're they're feeling good about themselves, and I, I and think, they should. I, yeah, and I th I think that you know, legit, they could go as a team to the regional. Well, that would be a good accomplishment. That would be a great accomplishment. Do that, and who knows what happens after that? Either as a team or as individuals. Some individuals cause, go because uh, golf's a sport where you can go as a team or as an yeah. individual. So. Uh, you know, good luck to these guys. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of the players are playing well. Yep. And you know, good accomplishment winning the TEC. So congratulations to them. Uh, sectionals aren't that far away. So yep. you know, good luck the rest of the way, and we wish them a lot of success. Well, next, <coughs> excuse me, a little tennis going on. Well, tell us what's going on in tennis. Well, they're they're, just, they're also having a good year. They're just plugging away. Yeah, you know, winning here, they win some, lose some, but I think overall they're on that on that end of things. They've gotten the, some more TC wins this uh, this past week. I think week. they had a couple matches that they won uh, <coughs> uh, were TEC victories. Yeah. So they're they're a good team also. They've yeah. got it. They've got it going. Coach uh, Brandy as. Uh, Really got that team going in a good direction, and again, we're it's all about moving toward yep. the sectionals because uh, we're getting down to it now for all sports. We're getting down to the sectionals. We're getting Jared. to the nitty gritty. We actually are. So, you know, good luck to them. Uh, you know, again, we'll have to see if we can get somebody or one of us can get out to that sectional because yep. I believe it's local here They're in Richmond. Richmond so yep. it's not that far away. Uh, and yeah, I think they're feeling confident uh, with their team. Well, I do too. I think I think that they can excel, and I think as a team, if they don't advance to the set, to the regional, I think they'll have 
one or two advance to the regional as an individual or as a doubles. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they're, uh, you know, real, some real <coughs> fair shots there. Excuse so me. It's that sunshine, Jerry. You're just not used no, to it. No, it's it. <laughs> mowed the grass. Yeah. So That's I what it is. Finally got to mow the yeah. grass because of all the rain and it's long and, and all it's all the pollens out. Yeah, absolutely. So, so good luck to, yep. uh, good luck to the girls at tennis. Um, you know, we're rooting for you. And if you get a chance, get out there and see a match. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're they're a lot of fun. I mean, yep. they look like they have a lot of fun. They really do. It's oh, like, that group that group has fun. They do. And it's just like the girls' softball yep. team. And I alluded this to uh, a lot of the times when I'm talking to the girls is they look like they're they're enjoying themselves. You know, having yeah. fun. And winning helps. So let's let's be honest here. If you can win, it's more fun. Uh, but you know, so that that bodes well for them. Good chemistry and tennis is the same way. So, you know, good luck to them. You know, moving on, and we'll have more results as the season wears down here. Well, speaking of the season wearing down, that's track. Track, and we're right. We're literally coming to the yeah. you know the uh, the, you know, the meat of the schedule, if yeah. we can say. They've got the TEC coming up on uh, this Thursday. This Thursday, yeah. And that's at Knightstown. And they're confident at boys' side. They're oh, I, would, I would be very confident at boys' side. And the girls, they don't quite have enough to score as a team. Right. They're giving some stuff up. But still, I mean, a lot of the meets, they've been finishing second and third and giving up points because they don't have enough participants yeah so we had an opportunity Jerry I had an opportunity to talk to the seniors okay uh, not all of them but most of them so uh, for tonight I think we ought to listen to Jill Berger and and Paige Zettel okay uh, I got them uh, on tape and uh, they'll, they'll allude to that, you know, yeah. as far as, you know, they're very proud of the fact of the performance so far with their numbers uh, the way they are. Well, they should be. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and again, when you're looking at these seniors, you got a lot of stuff going on in your senior. Number one, you just had a prom. Yeah. Number two, you're playing, you're in your sport, you know, do, doing your season. And uh, then your senior activities are going on, you know, things you yep. got to prepare for graduation. So they're doing all that and plus getting ready for the TEC, plus getting ready for sectionals. There's a lot on their plate. So And getting ready for the end of the school. End of school and this is yeah. it for them. There's yeah. not, as a senior, you're not doing, uh, this is it. Yep. You know, this is your last activity. So uh, let's go to that tape and let's see what Paige yeah. and Jill have to I'll say. I'll be interested to see what Jill has to say. <laughs> All right. Hi, this is Rick Fletcher. I'm here at the track here at Northeastern High School. And finally, after a cold spring and rainy spring, we've got some sun out here. So I'm with a couple of female seniors here at the track team. I'm with Jill Berger and Paige Zettel. How are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, Jill, I got to ask you your old hat at this. So you can yeah. come on. You can come in a little here. So have you got senioritis? That's what I really want to know. Yeah, big time. <laughs> big time. So it's coming down to the end, but that means you got the TEC coming up here on uh, Thursday. So what are your thoughts on that? I really hope I don't have to run the mile. <laughs> That's about it. All right. Well, you heard that, Coach. Okay, Paige, uh, I got to ask you, too. Are you you got a little senioritis, senioritis going on? Good gracious amount. <laughs> oh, a lot of senioritis. But with senioritis comes the end of your track season, the end of your senior years. How long have you been doing track, Paige? Track, uh, about eight years, same as cross country. Oh, so you've been doing it quite a while. All right, so what is your event? I run the 800. 800? Jill, what's your event? A uh, mile and the 300 hurdles. All right, so if you have to do the mile, you'll get out there and do it, right? Yeah. All right, so we won't worry about that. So you guys, on your, on your girls' team this year, you're kind of short in numbers, but you've had some good performances. Uh, so tell us about that, uh, Jill. For 10 girls, we've done a lot better than I thought we would, but we've had some real good sprinters and really good distance girls. But, uh, yeah. All right. So Paige, I guess the cry goes out, we need more girls. Maybe not, it's too late for you guys, but maybe for next year, what do you think? Yeah, I think there's a lot of girls I could. It's a fun sport, so yeah. yeah. And
you got great coaches, right? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good luck in the TEC. Good luck. Sectionals are right around the corner. Those are next week. And then after that, hopefully we'll see some of you at least in uh, regionals and going on, going as far as you can. All right. Uh, that's Jill Berger and Paige Zettel, seniors for the Northeastern Girls Track Team. Back to you guys in the studio. Jerry, if you re if you remember Jill, we were we, oh yeah, we, we did it. We chat chatted with her for Senior Day for basketball. We were worried. Boy, is she gonna say anything? When it came down to it, she we couldn't get oh, her yeah. shut up. And, yeah, and yeah. Jill and Jill gets talking. Jill talks. <laughs> she's got and a, people listen. Yeah, she's got a delightful personality. Yeah. She really does. And I learned what I learned about Jill and Paige tonight is they're best friends. Yeah. And they're both going to IUPUI. I don't know if that was, you know, the way they planned it. Go or, Jaguars. Yeah, go Jaguars. So um, next time uh, we do a Nightline Jerry, I also chatted with some of the seniors. I've mm -hmm. got a couple spots on them. So we'll we'll see what they have to say next All time right, for track good. but again they've got the TEC coming up that's you know, this week yeah and next week is sectionals for track and the boys are very confident uh, oh I would be I yeah. would be yeah their yeah. their their goal their goals are big they want to move on as a team you know tracks another one individuals or teams can move on yeah. And uh, they really want to move on as a team. So, and they they've got that confidence. So, good luck to them. Uh, we'll have more with the track team uh, next week. And uh, other than that, you know, good luck and get out to a track meet if you can. And uh, absolutely. So, anyways, and they've had trouble with weather also. Oh, yes. They lost a meet last uh, Friday night at Hagerstown that they were going to be in. Uh, as every other team has lost, yeah. uh, you know, contests. It's just so. been a bad, bad spring with weather. Weather's been bad, but hey, the sun is out today and the weather's supposed yeah. to be warmer, so May is here. And that means sectionals are right around the corner, end of school, Memorial Day, summertime, all those things that we really like. Oh, well... <laughs> You know, now you make me want to go home, fire the grill up tonight, and, and <laughs> put a couple steaks on the barbie. Put a couple steaks huh? on the barbie. So I will say, uh, you know, we're getting down to the end of these right here for yep. the school year. So I don't know how many we've got. Maybe two or three left. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting down to the end of it. We are recruiting. We need people to help for next year. We can work on it this summer to put our see if we can put a yep. team together. Uh, we're going to be doing some things with our live streams that, you know, a lot more live yeah. streams. You know, yeah. we'll have a lot more opportunity there. Uh, we'll start out with uh, volleyball. We'll definitely be doing yep. volleyball. Um, don't know where their sectionals are, but I'm putting a plug in. We ought to be doing live streaming their sectionals. Uh, yeah, we should. Yeah. So we'll we'll see, but that's coming yeah. up. And we've had a lot of new coaches. you got a new volleyball yep. coach in Matt Fisher. A uh, new girls basketball coach in Cody Dudley, and we've talked to both of them. If you have yep. a chance, go see those nights at the round table. They have a lot of interesting things to say. Uh, Brent Ross is coming back, I'm assuming, yep. right? Nobody said anything. Yep. Wes Soler's coming back. Yep. Okay. In fact, we'll have Wes and Coach Halloran on our last nights of the round table which will be in like two weeks yeah we'll get a good jump start on football and how to get football in yeah and they'll have their um summer program will be yep. starting right after school gets out yep. so they start right in uh, they don't really rest that much you know they do take no. july uh, fourth of july off yep. but boy they don't take a whole lot of time off during no. the summer so no it's not you know that's how football works so Still a lot happening, summer's coming, sun is shining, what more can you ask for? Well, I'll tell you what, Rick, <laughs> it's been wonderful. It has. <laughs> well, I think that's a wrap. That is a wrap. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, it's that pollen. Man. Oh my the gosh. Sunshine I'm, and grass, it's just... I'm dying. We're not, we're not used to it. Not used to it. <laughs> anyway, for Rick Fletcher, I'm Jerry Middleton, and thanks for watching Nightline. And you know what? It's been another great night.